YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Path Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. Tonight I'm doing something different. I'm here in Bilbao, Spain. Got here about lunchtime today. Still kind of jet lagged. Uh, I don't normally look at this anemic, but uh, this fantastic lamp lighting here that I've got is doing a number on me. So please, if you can bear with me, I'm going to share a couple of quick tips uh, that I think are really going to help you with your Photoshop uh, post-production stuff. Just two simple tips that I think a lot of people overlook. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that I subscribe to PSD Box. I think uh, Andre, Andrea Prince has got a fantastic, I mean this guy's a wizard with blending modes. If you, if you want to learn advanced Photoshop techniques, he's the guy. Check out his YouTube channel uh, website. You're going to learn a lot. There's a link to it uh, from my channel. But um, okay, so two quick tips. Um, the first one is that I think 80% of the population is right-handed and yet when you open Photoshop you always see the default location for the tool palette over here on the left hand side of the screen so if you're right-handed it means you're constantly you know reaching all the way to the left and then back it makes a lot more sense if you locate your tool palette on the right hand side of your screen and if you just push it until you see the blue bar come up then the tool palette will be anchored to your workspace and that brings us to important tip number two. So the first tip is move your tool palette or locate your tool palette on the right hand side if you're right handed or on the left if you're left handed. It'll save you a lot of back and forth activity. And if you're a power user, you may think, hmm, this doesn't make a big difference. Believe me, I've been using Photoshop since 1983. Trust me, it makes a huge difference. It'll also help you avoid uh, a certain condition called mouse arm. <laughs> okay. Uh, workspace. Go up to Window, click on Window, Workspace, come over to the right and you'll see my workspace is just called Paul's. If you come down to New Workspace, you click on New Workspace and you'll have the opportunity to uh, label the workspace, call it whatever you want, so that every time that you open Photoshop from this point on, your tool palette is going to be located in, on the right hand side, but also whatever palettes that you have open here will also become part of the workspace and they'll open the same way every time. Now you also have the option under the window menu under workspace, you notice that uh, CS6 has a, a ton of default workspace options. So if you're a motion person or you do a lot of painting or photography, typography, you can just pick one of those and maybe modify that slightly. But um, that's it for this one, folks. Uh, just a real quick tip on how to save yourself a little grief, how to expedite your work uh, process, speed things up a little bit, locate your tool palette on the right hand side, name your workspace, and you'll be off to the races. So. Uh, signing off from Bill Bow. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. Uh, I'll be coming back with some more great photography tutorials in 2014. In fact, I'm up here on the sixth floor. I'm kind of thinking this is a great opportunity to do some um, drag the shutter photography, something like that. So maybe I'll show that in the next uh, next YouTube video. All right, take care now.